Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some crazy news when it comes to the PlayStation 5 restocks. They're pretty much in motion and on the way, and it's very, very intriguing when it comes to talking about this stuff, because we've had a lot of stuff waiting for this. It's been kind of postponed for a little while, but as well, we also actually saw some retailers actually go and get leaked because it was listed, and overall, a lot of this kind of stuff kind of pertains to pretty much every region when it comes to like, you know, the UK, America, India, China, etc., and it's also overall very, very good news too as well which i'm sure you guys can probably go put two and two together if you saw a previous video on this we'll go and touch on that we have a lot, we kind of actually have a lot of stuff to go talk about this throughout this video so as well hope you guys will sit back relax and enjoy make sure you guys go hit that sub button too as well with the notifications on as well make sure you guys are subscribed for the ps5 giveaway going on too as well we'll also go make sure you guys go get the bonus entries with the link tree down below amazon links too as well for the controllers consoles, and all that good stuff link down below twitter and twitch stream if you guys want to follow and of course weeble Sign up for Weeble, deposit $100, and you guys go get free stock and free money, like $25 for free. And of course, Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. Those are always linked down below. Without further ado, let's go down in the video itself. So, the major thing kind of going to talk about for this video is the fact that the PlayStation 5 up in India is finally arrived finally in the processing of actually being sold and also we actually have seen many retailers go and well go and list out the proper dates now you guys are always kind of curious too you guys probably have heard the spiel if anything you guys can maybe just skip ahead like 30 seconds or so if you guys have heard it but usually whenever it comes to other regions we have been waiting for the UK which is almost done and now we actually have confirmations for India where they have their major restock dates and typically we keep on mentioning this with all the other regions because it always comes back to American folks because whenever all these regions have their extra stock all situated it should in theory also make it better restocks for all of us throughout the next upcoming weeks because it's kind of like if you have sony that's literally trying their best to go and it's really hard to make all these consoles and produce all these consoles if they have to go and move all these up here like they have to go put like thousands and thousands of consoles in india they just can't also go and usually divvy out that stock as well as they could if they're also putting that stock too as well up in the uk and canada etc so basically whenever these places are usually done they kind of have a little bit of like a, a little bit of a laid back lull before the next restock waves happen so this is actually happening is very good for us in america but as well very good out there for anyone who's up in India because they've basically gotten zero restocks. We'll dive a little more into it in a second. But when it comes to India, they have had basically like one wave, if that, of actual consoles. So this is pretty much like the very first major and good wave. And they've been waiting for a very, very long time. And it's kind of interesting too as well because a lot of this might also stem back down to the Ratchet and Clank launch where a lot of people are waiting for that to go get restocked. And it kind of makes sense as a marketing perspective because when people want to actually have these AAA games that are actually good, well-made, and well sought after probably more likely to want to go get a console too as well especially when they have all these really big restack waves so without further ado let's go actually properly dive in the video itself and kind of give you guys my talks and all this stuff as well so as you guys can probably go and tell we also do more ig in india because we have basically been trying our best to follow up the saga or playstation 5 in india for june 2021 which i still can't believe it's literally almost june as well it's kind of feel like this year has flown by probably because i'm sitting here making five youtube videos a day until all of you guys get your consoles Basically, the restock pre-order and delivery date was actually listed over here now by another retailer called Shop at SC. So PS5, June 2021, India restock details have actually finally been officially revealed. And we've been waiting this for a long time. And once again, this does relate back to a lot of America. Because whenever this is all done, we should hopefully get more stock. <laughs> we don't have to deal with the whole country, you know, which I think is kind of good. I think the Indian people deserve their consoles. After IGN India was the first report for the June 2021 restocks, Shop at SC, which is Sony's own retail arm, has listed that the next PS5 restock pre-order date is on May 27th with a delivery by June 7th. So just letting you guys know that basically throughout that like whole like 10 day period, then that basically means that Sony's gonna be trying their best to pimp out and go do as many consoles as they possibly can and move them over to India. And this is basically Sony themselves literally selling more consoles and selling more Indian consoles as well, which is all around very good to go and see. I was kind of like maybe I can probably more so imagine roughly like a PS Tourette in very layman's terms. Visit the collection that is going to be available for pre-order on the 27th of May, 2021, from 12 noon onwards. So realistically, I think a lot of you guys, even the American audience, probably know when it comes to all these restocks, uh, 12 onwards is probably like 12 to 12.02 if they're lucky, <laughs> you know. Uh, read the page at shop at SC's website. We intend to deliver your allocated stock around 7th June, 2021 and onwards. However, please expect a delay in our delivery services, which might get impacted due to regulations imposed by lockdown, curfew in your uh, locations. The product delivery shall depend on your location. Which also, if you guys actually haven't a chance to hear, this kind of can kind of bad. 
uh, things we don't have to deal with that in America is that literally India itself, they actually still are in like a major lockdown and they don't necessarily want people getting random supplies that are not essentials, you know, think like food, etc. So it's actually been like a really big regulatory issue with Sony and also for Microsoft because the like and they're in like their idea is like, hey, you don't need these consoles. We just need to survive. So at least for us in America, we're kind of getting back to more than normal. They're still kind of trying to deal with all these regulations, even get like get and sell these consoles. When uh, IGN reached out to Sony about this a week ago, we were told that the company would be unable to offer comments on this topic. Well, we reported that the PS5 stock landed up in April. So at this point, they've been sitting on stock chat for around two months, which is also probably just means that they probably want to wait for more stock to arrive and then basically just try to go and like divvy out everything they could. And now I don't want to go and say this because it kind of sounds kind of bad, but it's kind of funny because we actually could have had other regions, think the UK, America, Canada, that actually could have been using the stock that's been sitting there since April. Now, I don't think Indian people should lose stock at all in any capacity, but to kind of go put it in a perspective, like India's basically gotten zero restocks and their pre-orders have, or even later on too as well. So at least on the bright side, Sony has at least some point had a really big restock wave and they can maybe just try to have a massive influx of consoles and then we can maybe kind of focus on other regions for a little bit. I definitely do think India, Australia, and even China should be getting more consoles, but we do also understand like the supply constraints, which we totally get. So as of since then, Sony has actually not made any of the units available for sale this month due to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. Another reason for June as well, seeing a bulk of the PS5s in India are basically based on the arrival of the new exclusive Ratchet and Clank Raft of Rift Apart, which I almost want to make a separate video on that sometime in the near future because I am so extremely excited to get to go and play that and stream that game. You guys have no idea. I'm extremely excited. So I hope you guys are excited for that yourselves. I know a lot of you guys out there are still trying to get your consoles. So I do maybe throughout maybe like the next two or three weeks of Ratchet and Clank when it does fully come on out maybe we'll get lucky and have a lot of consoles because it kind of fits the American cycle too as well because we already had the UK all get situated we're now seeing India getting their restocks once again we've also been seeing some Canadian restocks too as well so if Canada basically has a lot of restock waves maybe throughout these next like two or three week periods we might have a really good chance to get to play uh, get a lot more consoles because we already know that Sony likes to favor the American market because of course Americans like to spend a lot of money and and of course, what else would people want to go and spend money on? New consoles and brand new AAA games. So I'm very, very excited for that to actually go and hopefully see more stock floating around. Very, very nice and good stuff over there. And definitely leave a comment down below if you guys are planning on getting Ratchet and Clank. Probably buy a most sought after game and then maybe Kenna afterwards as well. But basically, the company wants to avoid the bad publicity of releasing its big first half of the year exclusive with no console to play on, sources said. Which is actually really smart too as well, like for a little ramble on this, because realistically, like we've kind of had that issue nowadays where we have our consoles and I love my PS5, but we really haven't had too much stuff to play on it. So as of now, we did have Returnal, very good game, and now we do have Ratchet and Clank coming out very soon too as well. And I think that will mostly solve a lot of issues because at least we have a big backlog of say Spider-Man, uh, Demon Souls, and as well a few other games mixed on in, which I'm very excited to go and actually play and see things like Ratchet and Clank. And then ideally, we'll get more uh, announcements around the E3 time zone, or maybe some of the bigger AAA games, think like a Horizon Zero Dawn or God of War, sometime in the near future as well. Maybe we'll see more news in that in the next few weeks when it comes around the E3 time. But I'm very excited to go and see this, guys. I'm very, very hyped up. I think a lot of the stuff's gonna be looking very, very good. And overall, I'm just pretty happy to get to go and actually see this in the first place. So. That definitely makes a lot of sense when it comes to that. And of course, expect wider availability of the PS5 Digital Edition, which is also very intriguing because as you guys know, the PS5 Digital Edition is very, very harder to go and come by when it comes to the United States and all these restocks. And typically it almost seems like for every one digital PS5, there's like five PS5 disc editions. We kind of already know that Sony makes money on that, so it makes sense. But it actually has been really, really hard to go and find, and they've been really, really sought after. So it's kind of actually more so intriguing too as well that they're also seeing a bigger, wider availability for the PS5 digital editions when it comes to that. And as well, hopefully this school also can have some nice little things to go and turn the tide against Microsoft and the Xbox Series S. Because even though it's not really that sought after here in America, the Xbox Series S has been doing very, very well up in India. Which would kind of maybe make sense too as well, with like a maybe a slightly cheaper price point and also Game Pass. That does seem very nice, but we'll definitely have to go and see how well the PS5 sells out because I'm sure it's going to be instantly sold out, have, how, basically how it happens for the UK and United States and all of that. But once again, this is all around very good news because whenever India themselves 
are all fully situated, fully set on out, and then as well, same with the UK. Ideally, that should mean that we have a really good restack wave for us in America, or at least some of the retailers can kind of keep on getting more bonus stack and kind of going from there. So I would love to hear your thoughts down below, especially on the Ratchet and Clank thing and everything else we kind of touched on throughout this video. If you guys are Indian, major good luck on all of your consoles. You have maybe like another one or two days to go prep up for it. And we'll probably see a lot more of these actual consoles showing around. And as well, hopefully you guys don't mind me kind of doing all these region, regional news too as well, because I do think it relates back to America a lot. Well, that's okay with all of you guys for us to talk about it, because I think it is good information to know. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. As well, make sure you guys go and follow up the actual Twitter and Twitch stream down below. Amazon links as well with the PS5s and controllers. We also do have the giveaway going on, so make sure you guys are subscribed with notifications on for that. And of course, like the video, comment down below your thoughts, and sign up for Weeble. The pause of $100. You guys go get free stock and free money. Go ahead and make you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get that free Bitcoin. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you guys all later on throughout today for some more good old videos. Love you guys.